Hello fellow backers, this is Sir Six with a very basic guide on ship emissions. Here is what you need to know. Your ship emissions is composed of your electromagnetic or EM signature and your infrared or IR signature. These are the forms of radiation emitted from your ship. The higher the value, the easier it is for you to get detected at longer ranges and faster locking times for firing missiles at a given target. Cross-section also plays a factor, but I'll touch up on this in a bit. Now, electromagnetic waves are emitted by electrically charged particles undergoing acceleration. So it seems like it's linked directly to your ship's systems. When powered by the components, they take the required voltage and in return emit electromagnetic radiation. Notice when I turn off my ship's systems, the EM signature decreases. You are cutting off power to the system, therefore no radiation is given off in that spectrum. When working harder, the total electromagnetic signature will increase depending on what you're doing with the ship. So, the harder the system has to work, the more power it needs. In return, your electromagnetic radiation will increase. Next up is your IR signature, or infrared. This seems to be linked to your ship's heat radiation, which also encompasses everything on the ship. You mainly see this increase with things like higher thrust values, guns being shot, and using afterburner for longer periods. Even when turning off nearly everything, with the exception of the power plant and coolers, most ships will have a moderate IR signature unless you manually place stealth rated components in that ship. But of course this is okay because things will reflect heat off a surface. This is known as heat reflection. And you have emissivity, which represents the ability of a material to emit heat. Also, the heat value on the heat page has helped me notice when my ship engines are overheating. For example, in the arrow, when the heat value gets close to 307, my ship warns me of heating too much. And if I hit that value, the engine shut off till it's cool. However, when it comes to keeping your emissions lower, there are certain things that you can do. You can lower the emissions overall by managing the power levels going to a given system or using things like stealth mode. All this will do is bring down the amount of power that can be used on the ship's systems. Your emissions can't rapidly rise if you don't let more power go to the given system. Also, you can suppress your signature overall on the heat page on the MFD. This will decrease the emission values across all systems. And of course, if you combine this with the low power usage from the stealth button, it prohibits your ship from getting more and more emissions over time. And cross-section, of course, has to do mainly with ship size. The bigger the ship, the bigger the cross-section. So for example, if you're using a cross-section missile, it will have an easier time hitting bigger targets. To understand more about ship components and future modularity, then please check out this link above. I go into depth about the grades and classification of ship components. If the video was helpful, feel free to like it and share it with others who would need this information. As usual, I thank you for stopping on by. Until next time, fellow citizens, I will see you on the flip side.